And I'm curious to also pick your brain on your API design philosophy. Um, you identified some of the main, the three pillars uh, that you think of in, in BERT topic, but I'm sure while you're also doing other, other libraries, there are a few things that um, you've, you've picked up or lessons learned uh, of what makes a good um, API. Um, and I think, for example, I mean, there's a very clear scikit-learn sense to, to some of that. Um, here's to pick your, your mind on just API design philosophy. What makes for uh, a good API design for, for tasks like this? I think if I go back to something I've shown previously is this and this. So we have modularity. You can, you can change whatever you want, but out of the box, it works well enough for a lot of use cases. So what most people want when they're trying new technologies, they just want it to work. You have three lines of code, it works, it runs, and then you can look at it and say, okay, this is a horrible package. <laughs> I go with something else, that's fine. Um, but you can also say, okay, it's almost there and I want to change these, these, and these things. And that has been the focus mostly on uh, of the coding of the, of the design uh, that I had in mind, making sure that for most users it works out of the box because topic modeling is also used by a lot of people who don't code 24 seven. Um, so for those people, it needs to work. And for, for the ones that want to dive into it a little bit deeper, uh, they can expand upon it. Um, similarly with designing all of this, uh, it has been a struggle at times to find that balance between out of the box, you know, it works well enough and uh, you can do everything you want with it. Uh, and you can see that back in some of the things that I've, um, uh, I've designed uh, a few years ago. So at some point I opened up the possibility to use your own UMAP model. And uh, the parameter is still UMAP underscore model, but you can throw in K-means or anything else in there. So technically, we should change that to cluster underscore uh, or, or reduction underscore model or something like that. Um, so, <laughs> so with a few years uh, of developing this, you see some of these things being snuck in um, into the package. And uh, some of things are, are better than, than others and some things still work and, and you know, should be improved. <laughs> Amazing. Uh, we have a lot of questions. We're going to get um, to them. I don't think we're going to be able to answer all of them. I would uh, suggest to people to uh, visit the Cohere Discord. There's a talking language AI forum there, um, and there's a specific thread for BERT topic and this discussion. Um, and so, and this goes for both people seeing it live, but also people seeing it on, on YouTube later. Uh, we'll keep it alive. You can keep answering your question. We'll have the community answer. We'll, we'll do our best to uh, get the, um, the, the questions answered there. Um, before we take a couple more questions, I'm curious to hear your very high level sort of overview of let's do maybe polyfuzz first, or let's do, let's do keybird first and then uh, uh, polyfuzz.